Hello everybody, the Drafter here, and welcome to another tutorial in my Sky Factory survival series. This is episode number 8, and today's schedule is, first of all, there you go. Uh, you can see here a camel of uh, a bunch of crafting bench, crafting tables. And um, as promised in the last episode, we're gonna use the block of lava created with the Ex Nihilo Crucible to make a cobblestone generator. Now, you could use uh, cobblestone or you can use the crafting tables, which they don't burn together <laughs> with, the, with the lava. That's very silly, it looks very cool, very funky. And there you go, we have a cobblestone generator made out of crafting, crafting tables. Uh, that's cool. Whoa. Two blocks went into the lava. Three blocks went into the lava. And there you go, finally we got a block of cobblestone. And this is a big, big, big advancement in our Sky Factory world because, yeah, uh, how can you imagine? Has you can imagine? We now can have uh, cobblestone easily, mm, way more easily than having to use the dirt, sieve the dirt, uh, create stones, and wibbly bobbly boo. And from this, we can have more gravel, we can have more sand, we can have more dust, all materials that can be sieved in the Ex Nihilo sieve. But next in the agenda, and you can see it here, is Thinker Constructs. I created a bunch of uh, Thinker Construct tools, tool, tool stations, I should say, and we're gonna put them here in our work area. But first of all, as you uh, saw in the first episode, no, probably it's the second episode, uh, you can, mm, let's first see how you can make them. So pressing, mm, let's remark, pressing R, we have the stencil table, which will be used to create patterns, and it's made with blank patterns and then a wood plank and a wood plank. How do you make a blank pattern? Simply two planks and two sticks, and we need six of these, I have them in my inventory. So next is a pattern chest, which can collect patterns. Just a plain chest, Minecraft chest, plus a blank pattern. Next one is the part, this one will contain all the patterns, as the name says. Part builder, a blank pattern, and a piece of wood, a log. And this will be used to uh, create the parts that we're gonna use in the tool station. How you can create a tool station? Crafting table and a blank pattern. And that's everything you need to get started with Tinker Construct because we don't want to use these crazy <laughs> wooden tools anymore. We are advanced now, we have a cobblestone generator. <laughs> so go to your crafting table and make these tools a slab, slab tool, uh, sorry, a slab pattern chest, a slab stencil, sta slab stencil table, a slab part builder and a slab tool station. That's very simple, like you did with a crafting table. Uh, crafting table. Now let's make a bit of space here. Whoa, that flew. A little bit of space here, and let's put down our tools. Uh, let me put these. No, they go here. Ooh, that's dangerous. <laughs> let me put the buckets back into the chest, so we have a little bit more space for these. Um, I used to put them in this order, stencil table, pattern chest, then the part builder, and last the tool station. Now we're gonna need probably a little bit more cobblestone, but yeah, we got our cobblestone generator over there. And I have some over here as well. Um, now for the tools we want to make, we want to make a weapon, but not a sword, we're gonna make something else. We want to make a wooden pickaxe. I mean, a pickaxe, stone pickaxe, and a wooden axe to help with cutting the trees. Uh, to do so, let's take a look at the tool station. This is for repairing and modification. We're gonna talk about modification later on. So, for a pickaxe, we're gonna need a pickaxe head, a tool binding, and a handle. A handle is a tool rod. Then we said we need a hatchet, this is called hatchet, it's a wooden axe, it's the equivalent of a wooden axe. And we're gonna need an axe head and an handle again. And the weapon we're gonna make is called a rapier, 
The rapier is very cool because it has armor pierce, quick strike and charge boost. The special ability is the back pedal, so meaning that pressing the right mouse button you will jump backwards to escape better from creepers. Yeah, the damage is low and the durability is low, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. For the moment it's good enough. To make this we're gonna need a blade, a, uh, a stone blade at the moment, a crossbar and again a handle. So in total we will need one, two, three parts, then uh, four, and then five and six mm, pickaxe head and tool binding. So let's go into the stencil table, let's put our blank patterns over here. And that's the first we want, the tool rod, the rod pattern. Then click on the next pattern until you have a pickaxe head pattern. That's good. Click next again. This is a shovel. We don't want a shovel right now, but we want a hex head pattern. Click next again. That's a sword. We want that for the rapier. Click next again. White guard. No, we don't need this. We don't need a hand guard pattern. We need this, a crossbar. Yep. And the last one we need is for the pickaxe is the tool binding pattern. Nice. We used all six of them. Now we can toss them into this pattern chest, very handy, very comfortable. In fact, when we click on the part builder, oh, you have the pattern chest on the left. So you can comfortably take the pattern you need, put here the material. We're gonna use cobblestone because we have a lot of cobblestone. And that's our stool tool rod, stone tool rod, and also some stool, stone shards. We can use the shards again to make another stone tool rod. Uh, we're gonna need three of these so let's make another one and we have a spare stone shard we can reuse it for another tool tool rod in the future now let's put the store the tool rod back into the chest and let's take can we use this no we can't i guess i could but we can't so let's take another cobblestone and let's make a, to a stone pickaxe head this goes back into the chest let's take the axe head pattern make another tool pattern I mean tool uh, part these are called parts with the last piece of cobblestone we're gonna make a stone sword stone sword blade sorry and we need two more probably so let's put the pattern back and let's take a couple more cobblestone block let's go back here and let's make the crossbar pattern which is used in the oh, we can use shards that's very comfortable very useful I, I forgot about that so let's use the previous stone shard we had from the tool rods and let's make a stone crossbar which is used for the rapier this goes here and this goes here and the last one is a, cro a tool binding pattern and we are gonna need another uh, cobblestone piece we have a spare stone shard which will save of course let's put this stuff into the chest that we don't need and now let's go here into the tool station so first of all the pickaxe as you can see stone pickaxe stone binding and stone tool you i don't think you can name it because you would need the paper binding here but we don't have paper let's just try it let's try it and let's call it uh, lucky lucky 777 i don't know i like this name yeah, you can do it even without a uh, paper binding. That's cool. So our pickaxe is called Lucky 777. That's nice. And we consume the the, part, the 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 parts, of course. Now let's click. Let's click on the axe uh, hatchet. Sorry, and let's give it a fancy name like uh, Wood Chopper. Oh, too many P. Wood Chopper. You can give the name you want. Wood Chopper great and then let's go for the rapier rapier is stone crossbar and handle or stone tool rod and we're gonna call this um stabby stabby because it stabs no huh, i have a better name the name i use in my feed the creeper server needle uh stick them with the point <laughs> Now the, f the cool things about these tools, let me, well, I can sacrifice a tree probably. 
Or I can chop down... No, I want my wood chopper. Another cool things you can do with these. Uh, this is somehow a bit funky when you chop leaves, but you 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 saw you didn't get anything from chopping the the the, the leaves. Um, if we have some uh, the durability of the item is going is going down five durability. What you can do? That's the very cool thing about this stone tool uh, stone tools is that you go if you go into the um, the first uh, let me take it back the the repair and modifier if you use a stone piece you can repair the tool and that works that applies to the uh, rapier and also to the pickaxe that's very cool and handy and I mean we have a lot of cobblestone so oops, we have a lot of cobblestone now so we can afford repairing our tools that's very 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 cool and we can hmm, finally burn these wooden tools which they are a bit primitive now we are very way more advanced with our cobblestone generator and think and construct stone tools so that will be all for today's tutorial guys uh, i thank you in advance for any new subscription and if you like this episode, if you find it entertaining and interesting somehow, leave me a like and a comment. This helps the channel and the series to keep the series alive. So until next time guys, I hope you have a good time and I'll see you again in the Sky Factory Survival Series. Ciao ciao!